So, early round. I tried this. Hopefully this will be quick. Now, I had this disk drive, which always has worked, and it fails. So, I am going to do the quick thing. I'm going to load P, asterisk, quote, come 80, device not present. Turn on the disk drive. I'm going to press Control and 2 to change the color of the text so we can see it better. All right, so we have loaded the performance test. This disk drive has always been just dandy. Now, I've been testing out some programs on all kinds of disks, and I don't remember if I had turned this off or not. All right, what's going on here? All right, strange things are happening. I'm also going to unplug the joystick from port 2. Let's try that again. We have the 1541 test demo disc here. Maybe I loaded something I should not have there. I will load the directory. I will change the color by pressing CTRL, holding it down, and pressing 2. List. What did I load there? Printer test. Oh yeah, okay. Beautiful thing about the Commodore 64, I can move up here and type in load. Saves me typing in the whole performance test, put a comma 8, wipe out the RG. Shaboom. Away we go. Now, before this drive did strange things. So, I'm hoping oh dear, that turning things on and off have sorted that out. It is now formatting the disk. If you were watching before, it all seemed good and fine, and it wrote, and it read, and it scratched, and it did all kinds of things. But then when it went to go and check track one, it would not do it. It was most insistent. Now, as I said, I've had a whole box full of discs I've been going through, and um, some of them, some of them work, many of them don't, and some of them have strange copy protection things as part of them. In other words, they were pirated, or, to be friendlier, a backup copy of the game or program was made to ensure that the buyer, if something went wrong, still had a copy of the disc. In other words, probably, because it was going on way back when, it was pirated. There were programs and things and such that dealt with copy protection things. Anyway, this is far beyond what you need to be worried about right now. We are just testing or retesting this disk drive, which, if I am right, oh, I like this drive. It has everything in sockets. Works tested all major to yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. I can lift it. I can move it. It's fine. Anyway, it is once again running through this. And it is writing. I will be some surprised if it fails. But, once again, not shocked. Because there are times when putting disks of dubious origin into drives... Oh, speaking of dubious... Penny has arrived. Hello, Penny. How are you doing? Anyway, um, okay, it's writing, it's closing, it's reading, it's doing it. Yes, Penny, I know. I'm almost finished here, Penny, yes. Yes, Penny, I hear you. Yes, I do. I don't think there's anywhere you can really get up here. No, I don't. I will cut your head. Yes, I will. Anyway, all I want to do is see if this disk drive works, and if it doesn't, I will be surprised. Anyway, the other thing that can happen when you put in discs that have been sitting around for a long time of dubious origin is the head on the drive can become fouled and dirty. Because even though the discs look just fine, there can be this microscopic corrosion. Now, is that likely? No, it's not likely. It's more likely that I had the drive. Oh, here we go. Turned on. Nope, we got troubles. This is strange. 
and I have not touched this drive. It worked before. And I have been running strange things through it. I suppose the first thing to do when I get a moment is to try and clean the head. Which, basically, what you do is you take a Q-Kit and you soak it in unit is failing. Yes, I'm going to continue. This is strange. Ugh, i got to find another disc. i got to see what I can do about this. Well, it's a good thing I didn't send this disk drive off to anybody. Hello, Benny. How are you doing? A mystery. Indeed, it is. And we will solve this mystery. Perhaps not today, because I think it's time to feed Penny. So this is unit is failing performance test. This is kind of crazy, because of course I'm going to say yes, and then it's going to say it's passed, when I know it has not passed. I know it. I know it has not passed because I saw a tail. Anyway, it could be that this disc that I have been using for a long, 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 long time to test disc drives could be it could have gone squirrely. It could have. Well, I don't know. Let's just have a look quickly at the directory of this disk, if it happens to be completely blank, which I don't think it is, well, it could be. Yes, we have done this before. Alright, I'm going to run this. Oh, right. Keep in mind, people, <laughs> that if you have a program in the Commodore 64 and you load the directory, guess what? program is gone. Don't do that. Be careful. Okay. So we will once again load the performance test. And I'm going to put this disk back in here. I will take this disk and I will put it in. Please note, I have to be careful not to put this in at the wrong time. See, there's a little notch on this disc. There's supposed to be a Rikertech sticker. It has come off. Without that sticker on there, it is possible to erase this disc. And that would not be good. Because then you don't have it anymore. There should be a little thing. And actually earlier, when I was doing stuff here, I noticed that I saw one. Ah, here it is. Now, I could put it back on. It's just a little wee thing. Careful, don't use clear tape because the sensor is, is light sensitive. But there's a little piece of tape that used to come with discs. Some of them were silver, some of them were black. And you would just, ooh, this is filthy. You would just put them over the notch. There, I put this back on now. Well, sort of. Now I cannot write to this disk. If I try it, it'll come up and say, write protect error, or something of that sort. Write protect error. Anyway, that's probably where that came off of. Now, they do, after a while, tend to get loose, and then they can get caught, and sometimes a disk can get caught in there as you're trying to put the disk in and out. But anyway, just be very careful. Don't format a disk that has something good on it such as the 1541 test demo disk. Now, I did not really intend for this to go on and on and on and on and on to try and run this again, but here we are. We're almost there. By the way, later on, perhaps I will try. I found this, and it is a cartridge by Atari, but it is made for the Commodore 64, and it is the game Centipede, which was a classic arcade game. Anyway, not at the moment. We're going to let's just see if this works, if it doesn't work, or what's going on. My gut tells me it's still going to fail the same way. And I don't know why. But we're almost there. We're reading data. We are. It is very strange, because I cannot remember. I was just going to, you know, 
do this quick demonstration to say, yo, look at how this works, and isn't this great, and then the thing fails. I cannot remember the last time I had a disk drive fail, and especially after reading the thing in. Also, I can't remember it ever failing like this over the years. Never, ever, 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 ever. It's very strange, very strange indeed. So it is reading the data. Soon it is going to scratch the file of the data that it wrote to the disk. And then it's going to try. It's not happening. And it's going to fail again. And of course, then it's going to say the unit has pressed. But it hasn't. I know it hasn't. So much for the simple demonstration. That was supposed to work. What it does show me is that even though the, saying, the thing says it's failing, the error messages do not get transferred to the end and say, this is not working. I wonder if the varying things that I did have set this, because it was doing a lot of weird stuff before, have set it on a path of misalignment. I don't know. Or maybe the head is a little dirty, but it makes no sense that it would do everything else and then just not go over there. So I am some baffled, but I'll get over it. And that is all I have to say about that.